All right, well, let's get started. Um, I'd like to welcome everybody to another CPS Web Tips. And just a few uh, introductions and logistics before we get started here. First of all, of course, thanks for attending. Hope you learned something. We have an, um, something that I personally really enjoy talking about um, to explain today. And I hope you learn a lot. And if you have any questions at the uh, during the session, just type them in and we'll get to them at the end here. Uh, just a reminder for everybody, please make sure that your phones are muted. My name is Mark Blensky and I have um, 15 years of experiencing, uh, of experience listening to customers and developing solutions. This was primarily in SAP where I configured the system and I wrote quite a bit of ABAP. And last year uh, in January, I joined CPS and since then I've been working with One Shuttle Studio and Composer for a variety of customers across several industries. So one of the questions we often have is how do we get data into SAP? And Wind Shuttle has several tools that, uh, that allow for this to happen. First, you have the transaction, which is probably the most common and the one most people use regularly. It's where you can record a script, uh, maybe a transaction into SAP and uh, interact with SAP and, and return, uh, either update something in there or uh, um, somehow impact the, uh, the data in SAP. Query is a uh, tool that can go into SAP and withdraw data. And you can use that, you can either schedule, create these queries and schedule them to run and, and maybe update like SQL tables, or um, you can import them into Composer and call them directly for immediate and uh, exact data. Sometimes the scheduled jobs are, you know, hours behind, depending on the timing of when they're scheduled. <clears throat> so if you call it a uh, call SAP with a query inside of a composer solution, you're getting immediate data that's uh, as up to date as possible. And then we have direct, which isn't used as often, but is a powerful tool. And that's what we'll be looking at today. It's um, you can use direct to call BAPIs or uh, um, remote enabled functions and uh, we'll examine that more here in just a minute just so we're all familiar about this transactions would be examples would be mmo1 where you're going in and um, pulling material master uh, update or creating it or mmo2 would be to update existing material then there's all sorts of um, HR transactions, um, similar to like a PA30, which would be updating an employee record, for example, tax info, or maybe a name change after someone get, somebody gets married. Um, customer changes, which are transactions XDO one or two, you know, for changes. And then vendor, which would be VD01 or updates VD02. And it's data going into SAP and making an update and returning information um, through the log field regarding the success or failure of the update. And then queries examples are just pulling material master from the mark table, uh, pulling employee information from the PA tables, uh, PO header information for matching to invoices or any information that's stored in SAP that you wanna extract. And again, these queries can be scheduled to pull from the data from SAP tables and then update uh, SQL tables and grabbing the data from SQL can be faster than pulling it from SAP with when within a composer solution. Queries can be built to pull data directly from SAP instead of SQL. So it's, it's faster if you're, you have a composer solution and uh, you can, you can just pull it directly from SAP and then, you know, you have the most exact data. And then examples of direct, which would be any of the BAPIs. Um, these include like a customer create, uh, finding specific employee data, uh, editing material data, or displaying material data. So before we get into demo, um, these are the buttons here uh, that, that we'll be using. And uh, Drex can use SAP BAPIs or RFM, so RFM being remote uh, function enabled. 
a uh, BAPI is a business application programming interface. It's self-contained program in SAP that has inputs and designed outputs. And if you, uh, inside of Studio, you can search for existing BAPIs to see what's out there. And you can just use the asterisk similar to how you could search it in SAP and it would pull, you know, return whatever that you put in there. <clears throat> If you have access to ABAPers in your company, they can um, write Z programs and then remote enable them, which we see over here. And that allows us to call it from Windshuttle. Or you can just um, reach out to the existing BAPIs. There's hundreds of them. So there's a lot to choose from already. But again, if you have custom code, uh, Windshuttle Studio can absolutely call that. So using direct, um, some examples here would include customer create, finding specific employee data, and material, um, editing material data. So let's look at one, let's look at some examples here. We're going to open a direct, create from BAPI script. And again, this was the icon that I showed earlier. You can search for the existing BAPIs here where you could type in, we'll just do this and get an idea. There's a ton of them here. If uh, we did, um, for example, we wanted, if we knew we were looking up a detail, there's just, there's tons of them here. And uh, this is why this tool is very powerful because SAP's put these BAPIs together that um, allows you to do something in SAP. And um, it, it's very fast, works very efficiently. So I encourage you to get out there and look at these. If you were in SAP and wanted to um, see these, let's see, let's down here. You can go to SC37 if you have access to this, or you can work with an ABAP or your basis team. And, um, you know, if you type in copy detail, you're just gonna get a whole list of these things here. Again, SAP's put a ton of these together. And looking at is, uh, Got the uh, material get all. And you can look at the attributes. You can see when you're over here and, and you're looking at it, um, at these or remote function calls, you can see if it's enabled. If, if this button here isn't checked, it's probably not going to work for you because it's not allowing uh, outside calls. Here you can, of course, see the source code if you care to uh, see what it's doing. Or, um, you know, if you're working with an ABOPER or if you are an ABOPER, you can. Uh, you know, so let's go and manipulate it however you want, create your own function module. Do what you want. Uh, again, usually with these, you're gonna have import materials, you're gonna have imports, right? Tables or uh, structures or specific fields that come in to it. You're gonna export data. And there's gonna be uh, some tables involved as well. And so we'll see that when we uh, pull up our example here. So if we do, Again, when we pull this up, we're going to see the tables. You're going to see some of the input and some of the output. Um, in SE37 and SAP, we saw that there were actually a, a more input structures. Um, they're not all here, these, but these contain the main ones. And you have to work within what uh, can be communicated between Windshuttle and SAP. So you, you'll find the fields that you need in here. And what you do is um, we're going to build a, a little example here. Looking at these, you, you can just flip through these and see, for example, the output data um, that can be sent back from this example. And then again, the input data that you need to include. And so in this case, we are going to send across a material number. 
and <clears throat> we are going to get back the material description. And let's look back really quick at SAP because um, this can help a little bit understanding this. Let's see, where's the material description? So here's material description. If I click on it again, you can see that the language, the language it comes in, uh, and then the description itself. In this case, I'm not even going to worry about what languages are out there because we're just using a test material from SAP. So I happen to know that we don't we don't need to uh, specify the language, but we want to get back the material description for it. So you go over here and you click. We want to we want to be able to return this. We want to do something with this. At this point, we're just saying we want to do something with this. I haven't said whether it's coming back or going in. Um, and the same thing with the material. We know we need to do something with that. So we can hop over on the expert view and uh, go to the data set down here. I always like to do the log field first so that it shows up right away and we, we see what's going on. And then with the material number, because I have a specific test I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to just sketch, set that and then we can drag down the, the name down here. And there's a loop here that we need to deal with. And this has to do with the headers and the detail. So uh, because we're using such a simple example, I'm just going to put this in column C. We're going to do H and D. And then we can save, save this. And that's material. So inside of SAP, there is a material 5500 and its description is test uh, material. So it returns this and this is just a very, very simple, um, very quick example of showing you what you can do uh, with the with the direct. There's, I, I think there's a level of intimidation when we start playing with direct because it, it goes into BAPIs and uh, a lot of that's um, kind of confusing. And so we often just fall back on recording a, uh, a transaction script doing it all ourselves. And my challenge for you, and there's homework, is just to go out to the uh, studio, go into, um, is it, you know, create your, a new one here, and see what's available, because you might be surprised uh, what SAP has put available for us to um, pull in to studio. And not only that, if, uh, if you work with an ob opera, there's all sorts of cool things they can do in SAP. And this can, um, and you're going to import it in, into Studio. And uh, it, it just becomes a more powerful way to get data into and out of SAP, um, besides using just the transaction scripts and the queries. So, again, go over here to the search for BAPIs and you. You can just see what's out there. Tons of stuff. Uh, if we want to do, I have, I have no idea, material. There's a whole bunch of different things that we can do here. And, um, you know, any of these that you pull in are going to include the, automatically pull in the structures that you need. And it's just a matter of checking these updating the expert view and the data set on um, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a set thing or, for example, the I, I set it to every time it runs, set the material to 5,500, right? But we didn't have to do that. We could have um, put it down here and, and had that as an input so that you could get a whole bunch of materials going in and a whole bunch of descriptions coming out automatically. So. Um, this is just a simple example, but I encourage you to come out here and look and see what else is out there for these um, 
Rappies, there's just tons of it. And we don't always have to do the hard thing, which is recreating everything ourselves. SAP's put a bunch of stuff out there and we might as well use it and see what we can do. So, so your homework, if you care to have homework is to go in here and see what's there, figure, um, come up with some ideas of what you would look for. If you work in HR, maybe it's, uh, is there something you can do around timesheets or, um, around, uh, you know, ta updating tax, um, information, the number of deductions somebody wants, um, just different things like that. SAP has a ton of these out there. You can use them for material master. You can use them for vendor stuff and, uh, just put it into your studio and play around. It's, it's fun to practice on and it's fun to try and see, you know, hook this up and see what, how you can impact SAP. So that was the today's presentation. Let's see what else we have here. If there's questions, you're welcome to type them out. Um, something that's been on everyone's mind is the whole, uh, uh, coronavirus going around and here at SAP we are experts at uh, working remote we have 25 people working in six or eight different states and we managed to do some amazing things together so if you are curious what CPS can do to help your firm uh, help employees work remote we do it every single day we help companies um, automate their uh, their systems, we help people get out of the uh, office and remain at home. We have all sorts of ways of getting data um, from your plant floor to your ERP system. And uh, this can be managed and run from people at home. So if you have any questions about that or want to know any of the use cases, we have uh, salespeople standing by. We have people you can talk to. We can help you come up with return you know, ROIs on ideas that you might have. and encourage everybody to take this virus serious and, and um, you know, the idea of congregating everybody into um, close workspaces is, is last year and today and the future is going to be people working remote and we can help you with that. So if you have any questions uh, about that, reach out to CPS. We've been doing this since the company's been founded and we're really good at it. We'd love to help you, help you come up with ideas. Some reminders here, the next web tips will be April 16th. Um, they're recorded on YouTube, so you're welcome to view them uh, later. We have had to postpone several uh, get togethers that we had planned for this spring, but those will be announced with uh, later dates as, uh, as we determine when it's safe for, the, for us to start doing that again. Solution care supplements wind shuttle maintenance. Um, these are just talking points we put up every time. If if you have questions or problems with wind shuttle, or just getting your data into or out of SAP, this is what we do every single day. And we have experts in the the fields doing some amazing things, and we'd love to talk to you if you have any questions or any requests. You can contact us here. And this is our information and. Again, I appreciate you attending this. Uh, the, the direct into SAP is a, an awesome tool and there's a, all sorts of use cases. It's, it's limited by our imagination sometimes. So good luck playing around and um, the best to each of you. We'll see you next month.